Hey, take a look at that! Yeah, what is it? Wow, so cool! I don't know what I was expecting Habakiri to look like, but this is totally awesome! Sorry, Instructor. They got a bit carried away. Eh, it's all right. Technically, the mission doesn't start till we get to Onokuro. Just to be sure, Habakiri is establishing its own military academy. And they want us to help them? Yes. They see Edis Academy as a model, so they want our advice. Their primordial beast, Watamusubi, emanates a strong defensive barrier, which has allowed Habakiri to stay neutral and isolated. I wonder why they'd start a military academy now. Hopefully they asked us here so as to start forming closer ties. Apparently, there's a pro-federal faction here, attempting to do just that. But the higher-ups are wary, and not without good reason. That's why I brought you three, in case their fears are founded. Hey! Hurry up! We're burning daylight, guys! Sorry about them. In advance. <laughs> it's fine. Come on. Let's go. Imperial Chancellor, Alphas, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Thank you for accepting our invitation. It's truly an honor. That's kind, but I can assure you the honor is all ours. Your land has long been regarded as a holy sanctuary. I never dreamed I'd actually get to lay eyes on it. I digress. Where's Sir Johanna? I am quite eager to meet him in person. Of course, sir. He awaits you at the palace. Question. Who exactly is this Jahana fellow? One of Habakiri's three ministers. A real big shot, I hear. From what I know, he heads this land's pro-imperial faction. He's terribly ambitious. Oh, of course. That's right. Uh-huh. It'd be such a shame if our prize pop were to forget her mission. Uh, I didn't forget! I'd never forget something so important. We're here to... To establish an alliance between Habakiri and the Zhivlan Empire. We need this, because quite soon, we'll want their knives buried deep in the Federation's back. Said, we best ignore such things and focus on our mission. We have an audience, right? Down at the palace? I'm getting nervous. We're meeting with their actual heads of state, right, Instructor? Yes, exactly. The choices you make here could end up having repercussions across the globe. So mind your manners. Don't make me regret bringing you here with me. Any chance you're all here? On behalf of Edis Academy? Yeah, you guessed it. So pleased to meet you. Thank you for traveling such a long way. Allow me to show you to the palace. Oh, so you're our guide. I'm Leo. What might your name be? I am Itaku Kuze. Itaku Kuze? But that's... You are our honored guests, so please, make yourselves at home here however you can. Go, cool. Appreciate it, old man Kuze. Let's make our way to the palace, then. But wait a minute, you three. That man, he's one of the three ministers we're here to see. 
Our meeting at the palace is supposed to be with him. Wow, Mr. Kuze, who would have thought you'd be such a funny guy? Oh, <laughs> oh, you got me. That one smarted a little bit. And there it goes. Our hope of winning Habakiri over is dead. Thank you for your time. The information you've shared with us will be most useful. I'm glad. This was a productive meeting for us as well. It's crazy, though. I still can't believe you're one of Habakiri's ministers. My apologies. It wasn't my intention to mislead you. Not at all. Let me apologize for my students' lack of tact. Their confusion's understandable. I'm quite young for a minister, but while I lack experience, I can assure you that no one loves this country more than me. I don't think you could ask for more in a leader. Now, shall we proceed to the Academy grounds? I think we can save that for tomorrow. Well then, if you don't need us... Of course. Explore the city at your leisure, please. Alright! Shopping time! Miss Renier, a moment of your time? Absolutely. Very good. You cadets enjoy yourselves. We will. I would be all too happy to keep serving as your tour guide. But I have other duties which now call me away. Well, you're a minister, so we couldn't ask you to do that anyway. Why not? As a child, I often played tour guide for my mother. She was blind, you see, so it was my great pleasure to show her the wondrous beauty of this land through words. That's really nice. It's basically what led me to become such a fervent patriot. Listen. It would be futile to tell you not to get carried away. But at least try not to embarrass the Federation. Understood, ma'am. I won't just window shop. I'll support local businesses. Yeah, and I'll eat every scrap of food that's served to me. Because cleaning your plate is the Fukad family way! <sighs> I was told I could choose which Blaze cadets to bring along. But since the others were away, that choice was taken from me. You have my sympathies, Instructor. How about we start at the city center? Perfect! I'm pumped! The three ministers serve as the heads of our government. They're essentially our version of the Empire's Chancellorship. 
there's Jahana the Unifier, Giba the Schemer, and Kuze, who loves this land more than anyone. They do a good job of keeping each other in check. the sea, the salty air, the abundance of life, and the great mystery of what lies beyond. Who lives past that blue horizon? What are they like? Such questions stir the imagination. Hey, do you think we... Live up to his fantasy? They're talking about setting up a military academy. But why would we ever need one? Our country is neutral. Feels like our leaders are trying to force us into the war. abroad? Yeah, we're from the Federation. Really? Is it true that one of their countries is nothing but forest? Sylvair certainly has a lot of trees. Huh, that confirms it. Everyone in the Federation lives in their own little tree house. We didn't confirm that at all. to see the sights. You may as well start with the Cascade of Beginnings. That's a famous waterfall, right? I've been wanting to see it. I don't know if the word waterfall does it justice, but go and see. It could be a life-changing experience for you. Wow, it's that special of a place? Shopping and dining districts are both up ahead. But since you're here in a group, I bet you came looking for a place to eat, right? Hmm, I'd like to sample the local cuisine at some point. But I'm more interested in shopping right now. This has got me so hyped! Well, what should we do first? Let's get something to eat! I'm fine as long as I get my shopping in. I'd actually like to do some sightseeing. Great. We all want to do different things. And we don't have much time here, so... Maybe we should split up. Yeah! Let's meet back up at the palace afterwards, then. Sounds good. Alright, Unokoro, time for some shopping. Oh, jeez. There's so much I want to buy. Why do girls get so excited about shopping? I have no idea. La la la! Souvenirs! I've got to get something for Michelle, of course. But I want to surprise Leo and Hugo with the gift, too. I'm so excited to see it! 
Yeah, that's about the only thing here that doesn't excite me. Shopping is exhausting. Uh-huh, you said it. I'm always telling myself, just one more shop. And with all these imports coming in, it's just getting harder. If only I could buy myself an extra body to help carry things. Yeah, if only. Okay, after we've rested up a little, on to more shopping. Are you from out of town? I love the way your clothes look. Aw, thanks. I think your outfit's cute too. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, you know what? We should swap. Then I can look like I came from out of town too. Hmm, I don't think we're the same size. You're a damn foreigner, aren't you? Well done, genius. Is that going to be a problem? This land is sacred. Outsiders aren't welcome here. Oh, how sad. Because I'm not done with my shopping yet. Well, how dare you? Perhaps you need a little pain to help you reconsider. Oh, now you're speaking my language. Stop it. I heard every word. Who the hell are you? I'm a foreigner, just like her. Do you have a problem with me as well? Of course I do, you repugnant pests. What'd you call us? It's your attitude that's repugnant. Let he who has never interrupted a woman's shopping time throw the first stone! <laughs> you heard her. Shut up. We'll send you back to your country in pieces! Run. Hell no. I'm in the mood to play. A reactor? Are you? Ready that bow, my little heroine. Here they come. On it! Here! You're <laughs> kidding, right? I won't play! I saw that coming. Catch me if you can hear. Oops! Go. Killing them would be a waste of our time. But why would we kill them? Well, we wouldn't. We have something more important to do. Know what that is? Let me take a guess. Shopping? Bingo! Now, uh... I'm Celia Arvier. Well, Celia, for your heroic rescue. I want to say thanks by letting you go on a date with me. Uh, I'll take that as a yes. So now the two of us are going to shop until we drop. We'll have so much fun together. Well, that does sound more fun than shopping alone. Oh, before I forget to ask, what's your name? It's Laplace. Just Laplace? Huh. Where have I heard that name before? It's a fairly common name. Now, more importantly... You're right! We have shopping to do! Did any store in particular catch your eye? I'm thinking... every single one of them. Her 
perfect. Let's do it. We've got these new buildings and statues going up, symbolizing international peace and cooperation and whatnot. I know there are lots of exciting new things coming from abroad, but we need to be careful to preserve our own culture. If we aren't, it could disappear. Exactly the kind of trinket you'd only buy on vacation. But who cares? What else does a student have to spend money on? You get it. Okay, that's one for Michelle and the other Blaze members. Oh, Blaze, huh? What did you say? Nothing. I was just admiring your pretty little eyes. Oh, that's a side effect of my embleo. I might not look like it, but I'm a student at the Knight Academy. May I ask you a question? I saw you fight with the reactor earlier. Does that mean you're an Imperial? <laughs> Do I look like a soldier to you? No, but... I like to think of myself as... someone who travels around looking for good deals. So, you're like a merchant? Is that why you have a reactor? To protect yourself while traveling? You could say that. Huh. You're really strong for a civilian. Color me impressed. <laughs> Thank you. Where should we go next? I'll let you decide, Celia. I'm thinking of attending our new military academy. Ooh, I'd like to go there too. After all, it'll be chock full of strapping young men. Are you sure you understand what a school is? Of course I do. It's a place where hormonal teens are placed in tense situations. What kind of life have you lived to make you reach that conclusion? That is so wrong. In what way? Ugh, don't tell me you think that schools are for learning. I do think that, because they are! This makeup says it's also good for my skin. Maybe I should try it. Celia, do you have a boyfriend? A b boyfriend No, no one like that! But there must be someone you want to sink your teeth into. My teeth? Th that's a weird way of asking if I like anyone. Is it? I think it's a funner way to ask. I feel like the implications are a bit different. Anyway, no. I'm not interested in anyone. Not like that. So you're looking at beauty products for no reason? You're just gonna put makeup on for... Yourself? I'm not sure why that's confusing to you, but yeah. <laughs> so, you want to bewitch untold hordes of men just like me? I have no idea how you reached that conclusion. Where shall we go next? Hmm, they all look good. made for girls my age. Your age? As opposed to girls my age? Uh, I didn't mean anything by that. Hmm. Maybe I'll buy one for myself. Really? You think you'll wear it? But, uh... So you did mean something by it? No, no! I was just thinking. I'm like a kid compared to you. You're so pretty. You should be wearing designer jewelry. 
I'm actually amazed at how genuinely kind you are. Um, I try. You know what? You're too cute for these cheap kid accessories as well. Y you think I'm cute? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you want to keep shopping around? Yes. Ready for another round? Yeah, let's check out some more places. Makeup and accessories on this street. So if you need to prep for a surprise date, you're in luck. Oh, uh, no dates for me, but thanks anyway. Don't be so cold, Celia. We're on a date right now. But we're just. <laughs> oh, Celia, you really are a doll. How I'd love to break you into pieces. of a souvenir shop seems kind of pointless to me. But hey, people from other countries seem to like them. Oh, these match. They'll be perfect for Leo and Hugo. I hear boys' names. Details, now. I grew up with them, and they're my classmates. And potential boyfriends? Oh, I don't see them that way. They're more like family. Ooh, kinky. I've seen it all, dear. Love knows no bounds. It, we're really not like that. How about this? Ask yourself which one you could never leave alone. Who I can't leave alone? Probably... Leo. All right, next. Picture a girl who's the opposite personality of you. Maybe Michelle? Now, imagine you just found out Leo and Michelle started dating. How do you feel? Huh? Well, I'd be thrilled for them if they... Oh, I seriously doubt that. Huh? Trust me. <laughs> oh, young love is so sweet. Makes me want to chew it up and spit it out. <sighs> Can we take a break? Yes, let's. <sighs> it's been a while since I last frolicked in the sunshine like this. Do you burn easily or something? Hmm. No, I wasn't speaking literally. <laughs> we found you. Oh no, it's them again! Goodness, look how the fools try to puff themselves up. Nasty brutes, just what do you intend to do with us? You're an infestation. One that we plan to exterminate here and now. I don't understand. They really hate anyone who's not from here? It would seem so. Today we send a signal to mark the beginning of our crusade. And what better way to start them with a sacrifice? What are they blabbering on about? Hey, Laplace, can we look for a better vantage point? Like where? Someplace a little higher than this. An unobstructed view would make it easier to handle them. Hmm, lovely idea. I'm in. Great. Then let's go. Get back here! Stop them! There's a good spot to the left. Hurry! Yes, and when we get there, we'll slaughter them all, right? S slaughter? No, we can't! This is Hapakiri! So it'd be okay to slaughter them somewhere else? That's not what I mean. I know we're fighting in self-defense. But killing these guys could really complicate things. Oh, politics ruin everything. I hate holding back. Ugh, 
Come on, just hurry up. Here's the spot. It really is a lovely view of how quickly we're going to be screwed over. No, it'll be fine. With this distance and just the right aim. <laughs> Ooh la la, Celia. You're so impressive, my dear. Your mana-based detection is flawless. What's that? I've never heard of it. Really? Then how did you sense his position so accurately? Huh? I mean, I just looked and there he was. Using nothing but your eyes. That's it. Those men seem pretty hard to spot to me. Yep. <laughs> Miss Laplace? <laughs> Suddenly I feel like joining the party. For the sanctity of our homeland! Thanks for gathering all the flies, Celia. Flies? Anyway, let's just take care of them. That's what I like to hear. Let's finish this, shall we? <laughs> Down you go! You did it, right? You can still fight! You can still fight! You Enjoying our date as much as I am, Celia. Come on, please take this seriously. Ah! You're a bomb. Disgusting, meddling foreigners! We true patriots will never stop! We've heard it before. And it was boring the first time. Please don't! He's in no condition to fight back! Oh. I don't understand your point. Why would his weakness entitle him to mercy? Miss Laplace! <laughs> I'm just teasing. But since the man's here, we may as well ask him what their plan is, don't you think? Well, yeah. <laughs> Our plan? To preserve the purity of... You're really starting to wear down my patience with... Whoop! An explosion in Onokoro. A little too convenient. Could this be the signal they were talking about? I'm gonna be there when history is made! <sighs> if I have to... No, Miss LeBlanc! Celia, please. This game of yours is getting annoying. I'm just suggesting we follow him. Hmm? He said he... Wants to be there, yes? And that means he'll lead us right to it. Someplace important to their cause, yes. Yes, exactly. Hmm, all right. You've convinced me. I'll clear my schedule. You have me for the day. Good. I just hope that Leo and Hugo haven't run into trouble, too. <laughs> <laughs> 